we were there with John. And the first thing we saw was a throne. And the Lord Jesus is there. And he is the lion of the tribe of Judah, who's sitting at God's right hand, waiting till his enemies have made his footstool down here. Then in chapter 5, he's the lamb. And we see the emphasis upon his first coming, that he's the lamb. But the lamb is the one, because he's the redeemer, that was able to take the book, which is the title deeds of this earth. And did you know that he's the only one that's able to judge this earth? And he's the only one that's able to judge it, not only because of who he is, he's God manifest in the flesh, but by what he's done. He created this earth, and that gives him a right. And he's worshipped in chapter 4 as the Creator. Then he also redeemed this earth. And we see that in chapter 5. He's worshipped as the Redeemer. Since he's the Creator and Redeemer, he's the only one worthy to judge this earth. He's the only one that's able to rule this earth. What a reflection upon the consummate conceit of little men down here who want to be judges. What right has the Supreme Court to judge anyone? What right has the Senate or the House of Representatives or the President to judge anyone? Who do they think they are today? May I say to you, who is worthy to sit in judgment? It's the Lord Jesus Christ. He alone is worthy. And until one of these boys can measure up to him, they are not really in a position to judge in their own ability and strength. And any human judge down here that does not look to God is not worthy to sit on any bench and judge anyone. And that would even be a police court today. And may I say to you that the injustice that's on this earth is brought about because a little man sitting in judgment on others. Jesus Christ is worthy. And that's the picture that is given to us as we close that chapter.